In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA per season games happening on October 20th, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So three picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA per season games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Memphis Grizzlies vs. Milwaukee Bucks In an exciting NBA preseason clash, the Memphis Grizzlies are set to go head-to-head -head with the Milwaukee Bucks at the Pfizer Forum. The Grizzlies are striving to conclude their preseason campaign with a 3-2 record, showing a decent track record with victories in five of their last nine preseason games. On the other side, the Bucks are also targeting a 3-2 record to cap off their preseason hoping to regain their form after facing setbacks in nine of their last 11 preseason contests. The Bucks, as the home team, might enjoy some advantage, but there are questions surrounding how much playing time their key players will receive. Additionally, the Bucks have faced some offensive struggles throughout their first four games. On the flip side, the Grizzlies have had a mixed bag of results, but they've demonstrated more consistency on the offensive end and have been better at defending against outside shots. So the Memphis Grizzlies to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Looking at the statistics, the Memphis Grizzlies have been scoring an average of 115 points per game, shooting at a 43.9% accuracy rate, while allowing their opponents to score 115 points on 44.1% shooting. Desmond Bain has been leading the charge with an impressive 21 points and 4 assists, and Jaron Jackson Jr. adds to the offensive arsenal with 16 points and 5.3 rebounds. Jake LaRavia is another double-digit scorer, and Santi Aldama has been contributing with 1 point eight assists. From beyond the arc, the Grizzlies have connected at a rate of 30.6%, and they've been steady at the free throw line with a 78.9% success rate. Defensively, they've limited their opponents to shoot at a 30.6% rate from deep and have been strong on the boards, grabbing 45.8 rebounds per game. The Milwaukee Bucks, on the other hand, have been averaging 104 points per game, shooting at a 41.3% accuracy rate, while allowing their opponents to score 108 points on 43.6% shooting. Chinese Antetokounmpo has been contributing with 17 points and 9 rebounds, while Malik Beasley adds 13 points and 3 rebounds to the offensive effort. Brook Lopez is another double-digit scorer, and Pat Connaughton has been active on the boards, grabbing 5.8 rebounds. Beyond the arc, the Bucks have been connecting at a rate of 31.9%, and they've been consistent at the free throw line with a 75.6% success rate. Defensively, they've allowed their opponents to shoot at a 30 4.6% rate from beyond the arc and have been dominant on the boards, grabbing an average of 49 rebounds per game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Detroit Pistons vs. Dallas Mavericks In an upcoming NBA preseason showdown, the Detroit Pistons will face off against the Dallas Mavericks at the American Airlines Center. The Pistons are aiming to wrap up their preseason campaign with a 3-1 record, having shown promise with wins in five of their last seven preseason games. On the flip side, the Mavericks are still in search of their first preseason victory having struggled with a 0-3 record, including a loss to Real Madrid. Detroit has posted a 1-1 record in their first two preseason games, with a loss to the Phoenix Suns and a victory over the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Pistons are in a rebuilding phase but boast a roster filled with highly talented young players, including Cade Cunningham, Isaiah Stewart, Killian Hayes, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Duran, Marvin Bagley III, and Sadik Bey, all of whom are 23 years old or younger. The offseason acquisitions of Bajan Bogdanovic, Kelly Olenek and Saban Lee have added a mix of veteran presence to the team. Detroit seems to be a season away from making a serious playoff push. The Dallas Mavericks, on the other hand, have faced a winless preseason with a 0-3 record, including losses to the Minnesota Timberwolves and Real Madrid. They were also dealt a blow when star player Luka Doncic was sidelined with a calf strain. Doncic is expected to miss the final preseason game but may return for the season opener on October 25th. 
Despite some players listed as day-to-day, -day, the Mavericks are likely to field a starting five of Kyrie Irving, Tim Hardaway Jr., Grant Williams, Derek Lively, and Doncic for the regular season. On paper, the Mavericks appear to be the stronger team, and their home court advantage likely plays a role in the betting line. However, given their winless preseason and recent loss to Real Madrid, combined with a significant gap of 10 days since their last game and international travel, the situation is quite uncertain. As such, our full game side pick is for the the Detroit Pistons to cover the spread as underdogs. Delving into the statistics, the Detroit Pistons have been scoring at an average of 124 points per game, shooting at an impressive 49.6% accuracy rate, while allowing their opponents to score 124 points on 44.6% shooting. Marvin Bailey III has been a key contributor with 14 points and 5.7 rebounds, and Jaden Ivey adds 14 points and 3 assists to the mix. Cade Cunningham is another double-digit scorer, and also Thompson has been active on the boards, grabbing 8.7 rebounds. The Pistons have been connecting from beyond the arc at a 38% rate and have been reliable at the free throw line with a 74.7% success rate. On defense, they've limited their opponents to shoot at a 35.7% rate from deep and have been dominant on the boards, grabbing an impressive 49 rebounds per game. The Dallas Mavericks, in contrast, have been averaging 106 points per game, shooting at a 40.5% accuracy rate, while allowing their opponents to score 114 points on 44.8% shooting. Luka Doncic has led the scoring with 17 points and 2.7 assists, and Jaden Harvey adds 15 points and 3 points three rebounds. Tim Hardaway Jr. is another double-digit scorer, and Dante Exum has been contributing on the boards with 2.3 rebounds. The Mavericks have been connecting from beyond the arc at a 31.9% rate and have maintained a 62.9% success rate at the free-throw line. Defensively, they've allowed their opponents to shoot at a 38.5% rate from beyond the arc and have been competitive on the boards, grabbing an average of 44.7 rebounds per game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. San Antonio Spurs vs. Golden State Warriors In an upcoming NBA preseason matchup, the San Antonio Spurs are set to face the Golden State Warriors at the Chase Center. The Spurs are looking to conclude their preseason campaign with a 3-2 record, having encountered challenges with losses in six of their last nine preseason games. On the other hand, the Golden State Warriors are eyeing a perfect 5-0 record to finish their preseason, displaying their prowess with victories in 13 of their last 15 preseason contests. The the Golden State Warriors are unlikely to field any of their key players in this game. Nevertheless, the Warriors have established themselves as one of the top preseason teams in recent years, with a remarkable 13 wins in their last 15 preseason outings. With their consistent success in preseason games, it's hard to bet against them, even with the Spurs' strong defensive performance. So Golden State Warriors to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Examining the statistics, the San Antonio Spurs have been scoring an average of 112 points per game, shooting at a 45.7% accuracy rate, while allowing their opponents to score 107 points on 39.8% shooting. Victor Wembanyama has been a standout performer, contributing 19 points and 5 rebounds, while Devin Vassell adds 17 points and 1.7 assists to the mix. Zach Collins rounds out the trio of double-digit scorers, and Malachi Branham has been contributing on the boards grabbing 2.5 rebounds. The Spurs have been connecting from beyond the arc at a 38.3% rate, but they've struggled at the free throw line, shooting at a 68.8% success rate. On defense, they've limited their opponents to shoot at a 28.8% rate from deep and have been solid on the boards, grabbing an average of 46.5 rebounds per game. The Golden State Warriors, on the other hand, have been averaging an impressive 123 points per game, shooting at a 48.2% accurate rate, while allowing their opponents to score 116 points on 45.8% shooting. Jonathan Kuminga has been a scoring machine, putting up 24 points and 2.5 assists, while Stephen Curry adds 19 points and 3.3 assists. Andrew Wiggins is another double-digit scorer, and Moses Moody has been contributing on the boards with 2.8 rebounds. The Warriors have been connecting from beyond the arc at a 41.1% rate and have maintained a 75% success rate at the free-throw line. Defensively, they've allowed their opponents to shoot at a 36.5% rate from beyond the arc and have been dominant on the boards, grabbing an average of 50.8 rebounds per game. Considering the offensive firepower of both teams, over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.